Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win, and welcome back to the Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today we're back with another episode of Blueprint Review. This is episode 199. And today we're taking a look here at the new Esch Eschatology Blueprint for the Einhorn Revolving Shotgun, which you guys can see right here. Uh, doesn't look too bad, um, but as you guys know, this is one, probably one of my favorite weapons within Vanguard anyway. Um, so we should probably be we should be able to do pretty well with this thing, I'm assuming, um, considering that it is a good shotgun in general. Um, so, as I'll see you guys all in the gameplay. All right, guys, welcome into the game. We are playing some domination here on the map radar. Hopefully, we can do well. Rocking out with this shotgun here, of course. Now, I actually got a brand new PlayStation 5 scuff controller today, so. Definitely excited to give this thing a go here today, here within this game. Oh crap. Nice, there we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm really lucky I have a very reliable secondary, because this thing, we're gonna have to reload a lot. Now, I do love the Einhorn Revolving Shotgun. I mean, I made a whole video about it saying how it was the most fun weapon to use within Vanguard, like really early in the game's life cycle. And I don't use it too much. Whenever I use it, I have a bunch of fun. The only the problem with this weapon, and there's really really only one problem with it, is that it's got a very slow reload. But other than that, it's extremely extremely fun to use. So we should be able to get a good gameplay here. I hope. I'm gonna stink up on this guy. Sneak up on him. There we go. Nice little five kills to start off here. And we're already almost out of ammo. That is unfortunate. Thank you very much. Go ahead and reload. But I do need a new weapon. Here. And I'm dead anyway. So that so it's alright. Glad I actually get to keep using the blueprint. That is, after all, the entire point of the video. So yeah, the PlayStation scuff is actually really, really cool. The PlayStation 5 one. And, like, they're brand new controllers as well. Like, they just... They just came out, like... A few weeks ago, maybe? No, not a few weeks ago. Like, a month ago, maybe? Like, I, I bought it relatively after, relatively soon after they came out, so... It hasn't been out for too long. Nice. Is there somebody... Wow, nice job, teammate. Oh, sorry. Sorry, teammate. My bad. Yeah, it won't take, us, take me too long to get used to the scuff. I think it only takes like about a day or two because I have played with the scuff before. But I'm hoping the scuff controller lasts me for a long time. Because they are insanely expensive. Damn it. That was bad. That was a bad play on my part. But it's crazy. We are almost to episode 200 of this series. That is insane. So yeah, nice try. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The shotgun definitely does take a lot of patience to use, but... So yeah. Somebody over here, maybe? Nope. A teammate. So it can't possibly be over here. No. Damn it. I'm dead. Okay. Go ahead and call that in. Yes. Oh my goodness. This shotgun is so much fun to use. I love it. Absolutely love it. Got a hit marker. Okay. How about anybody by B? No, nope, no one. But I will absolutely say 100% that using a scuff controller massively improves, massively improves your game. Being able to jump shot easier, melee easier, it's just so so important for your gameplay like you don't need a scuff to be good i mean you guys saw the type of gameplays i got since i got my playstation 5 which was before vanguard came out it was actually during the vanguard beta 
We still got some really good gameplay without a scope controller. All I'm saying is that it does help with getting a gameplay. Because instead of moving your fingers, you know, when you have to press A or press B or whatever, you just use the paddles on the bottom of the controller and it just is so, so useful. Using a sticky ball. Okay, let me throw that over there. No! Oh my gosh, what are these guys doing, man? Why are they camping? Crap. Losing objective able. Up, no Can't really do much here. Ooh, I hear you. Ammo. Dang it. Come on, man. Now, the goal for this gameplay is actually just a 2KD. Because it is a shotgun. Shotguns and snipers. How Vanguard is as a game. I try and get just a 2KD with it. Nice, man. Come on. Let's go. We're doing well. What? Oh my gosh. Freaking! I call it the rose skin, but I actually really don't know what it's called. Taking Charlie. Just need to reload real fast. And incoming satchel. Probably wouldn't come through here if I were you. Oh my gosh, man. These guys are so freaking toxic. I'm gonna try and flank. I'm gonna try and flank. This might not go well, but I'm so annoyed with these guys just camping camping their pants off, thinking that they're thinking that they're doing anything but just being bad at the game. Oh wow, the flank actually worked. Nice. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well. Oh my gosh, get destroyed. Okay, get down. Reload this real fast. Call this in as well. Okay. Okay, wow, there's a lot of guys flanking. ready for mission. <coughs> Dang it. Why does this always happen when I record? I always have to sneeze whenever I record. See ya. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are doing well, guys. We have 33 kills, mostly in the lobby right now. Which is honestly a surprise, considering that we are using a shotgun. But again, I love... I, again, I mean, I don't know what it is with this weapon, but I, I somehow tend to do pretty well with it. it. This is also a really good blueprint for it as well. I can definitely see this getting a really high rating. Oh crap. They're taking Charlie. Oh my gosh, man. What am I doing to these kids? Uh oh. Come on, reload. Reload this pistol as well. Call in our armor. It's like we have all day to do whatever we want. I'm just going to try and go through here. Wow, we got a local informant? Seriously? Wow, that was a nice streak. What the heck? Okay, let's get this local informant in. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, but we're still gonna lose the game. Oh my gosh, man. What can I do, teammates? What 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 do you expect me to do? Oh yeah. I can't play the objective for you. I can only slay. Oh, this guy's dead. Okay, let's back up. Oh my gosh, get down. I'm not here, I promise. Wait, is my local performance gone already? Okay, give me this. Thank you, okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, man, I don't know what's going on right now, but we're doing well. Just is kind of a bummer that we're gonna lose the game. Even though I literally did everything I could. Maybe not everything. I could have played the objective maybe a little bit more. But. Yeah, I mean, it's just a simple matter of hold time. I mean, I don't know. But nonetheless, we still managed to get a nice 3 KD gameplay there. I, yeah, I just don't really know how we lost it. I guess part of it is my fault. So I guess I can take a lot of the blame for losing. But I made up for that in kills, so... I don't know. I, I think part of part of the reason that we actually lost the game was just because of that of that really long B hold where we we're kind of getting spawn trapped a little bit. Um, but anyways, nonetheless, it was still a fun gameplay. Hopefully, you guys managed to enjoy it. I love running around with the Iron Revolving Shotgun, and I'll see you guys all in two seconds to go ahead and view the blueprint. All right, guys, welcome into the lobby. We're taking a look here at the Esha Eschatology blueprint for the Iron Revolving Shotgun. So let's go ahead and get into the review. So start up here first off with the First attachment, we have ourselves the M97 full choke. For the barrel, we have the Clouser 710mm O2B. For the optic, we have the medium iron sights. For the stock, we have the VDD Hunter. For the underbarrel, we have the SMLE pistol grip. For the ammo, for the magazine, sorry, we have the 12 gauge five round cylinder. For the ammo, ammo type, we have packed powder. For the rear grip, we have the fabric grip. For the proficiency, we have gung ho. And finally, for the kit, we have quick. So that is all out of the way. We can go ahead and talk about the aesthetic, the practicality, and the worth of the blueprint. So starting here first off with the aesthetic. I like how this blueprint looks. Obviously, you know, it doesn't look as cool as the Mastercraft because none of these blueprints will look as cool as that. But I still think it looks really cool. I like the sort of gold aspects on the uh, sort of cylinder cylinder there, as well as the gold around the blueprint in general. This, and it looks really, really cool in my opinion. Here's what it looks like with the Mastery Camos, just in case you guys are curious. Kind of affects the aesthetic quite a bit, but still looks pretty cool nonetheless. Um, so as far as the aesthetic goes, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 8 out of 10. Or no, 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 a 7.5. 7.5 out of 10. Next for the practicality, is this a practical blueprint? Honestly, yeah. I think it's a really practical blueprint for this specific shotgun. Obviously, compared to the other weapons in the game, it's still pretty good. I mean, we got a 3KD gameplay against regular weapons, so it's still pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of things I really like when it comes to shotguns. I like the N97 full choke. It just helps a lot. And there's also a whole bunch of damage range improving attachments, which is very, very nice for a shotgun, as well as hip fire accuracy, aim down sight speed, all sorts of really important perks for shotguns. The only complaint I have, and it is a very minor one, is I think it should have had fully loaded on it because the Einhorn Revolving Shotgun has so little ammo that you run out really quickly obviously we didn't need to use or pick up i mean we did have to pick a weapon once and came close a few times before we died so that's the only complaint i have but it's still a very 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 good class in my opinion for this weapon and we managed to do really well with it so i'm gonna go ahead and give the class a 9 out of 10 i think it's that good and last but not least is this blueprint worth using that depends on the type of player you are obviously if you're a shotgun main player i recommend using it because it's really fun to use and even if you're not a shotgun player, I also recommend it because it's really fun to use as well. The Einhorn Revolving Shotgun is a very fun shotgun to use within this game in general. And I think for those of you who like shotguns, I think you'll have a ton of fun with it. And even if you don't, definitely I would recommend giving it a go. So I'm going to give the worth a 10 out of 10. Um, so factoring everything in, this blueprint is going to be getting a total of an 8.83 out of 10, which is pretty close to the previous blueprint we actually did which is pretty awesome i would say so far this is the best blueprint in the game but obviously we have one more to use before we can fully make that decision but i really like how this i really like this blueprint it only took me two games to get a gameplay with it so that's definitely something to keep in mind it took me two days to get a gameplay on the owen gun blueprint so 
So yeah, I think it's a really good blueprint, and I definitely think it deserves as high of a score as it got. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this next episode of Blueprint Review. This is my final episode before we have ourselves the big, big episode 200, which I'm currently working on recording for you guys. If it is not up on Friday, it will absolutely be up on Monday. It just depends on how much recording I can get. I'm running very, very low on time as far as getting videos out for this uh, special video. So you may not see a blueprint review episode for the rest of the week, but at least on Monday, I will have one for you. So I definitely stay tuned for that. But just hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, again, like ratings, always appreciate it. Want to check out another previous episodes of the series. They'll all be linked down below. So the playlist in the description. The previous episode will be at the end of the video. If you guys check out as well. And I'll see you guys all on another Call of Duty Vanguard video very, very soon. <laughs>